Now the objective type questions, very short answer questions. First is, what is this lesson Deep Water about? It is about the author's drowning experience. And then, what is the name of the pool where he joined to learn swimming? YMCA pool. Where was this pool? In Yakima. How old was he when he decided to learn swimming in the pool? 11 or 12 years old. How did he begin to learn swimming? With the help of water wings, watching and AP the other children. What was his first experience with water? It was at California Beach. That is, where was his first experience of water? At California Beach. What happened after this? He had an aversion to water. He disliked water. What, what, what does he term his second experience as? He terms it as the misadventure. His drowning experience in the YMCA pool. He calls it as the misadventure. What handicap? What was the handicap that he had? The handicap was his fear of water. How did he come out of his fear of water? By getting training from an instructor. How did the instructor teach him? He trained him step by step. How many steps? Three steps. What lesson does he learn? What message does he convey? Or what meaning does this experience have? What deeper meaning does this experience have for Douglas? He realizes that in death there is peace and there is, we must fear the fear itself. There is terror only in the fear of death. So these are the objective type questions that can be asked. Now the question answers. First we will be doing short answer questions of 30-40 words each and then the long answer. Now first question. What was the author's first encounter with water? His first encounter with water was at the California beach where he had gone with his father and a large wave of water knocked him down. He was crying. He was scared of drowning. Where his father, uh, whereas his father was laughing. And after this experience, he started disliking water. Second question is, what was the misadventure that Douglas talks about? The misadventure is his drowning experience in the YMCA pool. And uh, in this, uh, this experience uh, gave him a life... Uh, uh, what was the second? Uh, the second question is, what was the misadventure that Douglas talks about? The misadventure is his drowning experience at the YMCA pool, where he uh, had gone to learn swimming, and a big boy had thrown him into the deeper side of the pool, and he was drowning. So this is his misadventure. The drowning experience at the YMCA pool is called uh, is termed as his misadventure. Now the third question is, what was the handicap that the author talks about? The handicap is his fear of water. Why does he call it as his handicap? Because he was not able to go to enjoy water sports. He was not able to go for fishing, boating, canoeing, etc. He saw the other children doing it, so he felt he was missing it. That is why he calls it as a handicap. Fourth question, what deep meaning did the drowning experience have for Douglas? The deep meaning that he had was that there is fear in the fear of death. All we have to do is fear the fear itself. In death there is peace. We have terror only in the fear of death. So these are the short answer questions, long answer questions to be answered in 125 to 150 words. The first question is, 
How did the instructor build a swimmer out of Douglas? Here when Douglas felt that his fear of water was a handicap, he was not able to go for boating, fishing, swimming, canoeing etc. As he saw the other children doing it. So he felt that it was a handicap. So he decided to overcome his fear of water and he engaged an instructor. The instructor taught him in different steps and he taught him in three steps. In the first step he tied a belt around his waist and he, he took a rope and tied one end of the rope to his belt. The rope went over a pulley at the other end of the rope the instructor had in his own hand and with that he controlled him in, in water. He would pull the, uh, the rope up or let it close. So he gave him this practice of being in water for many days until he became comfortable. In the second step he taught him how to uh, breathe in and breathe out during swimming and in the third step he took him to the edge of the pool and taught him how to kick with his legs. So each step he taught him separately and for each step he gave him practice for many days and finally one day he put him into the pool and asked him to do all the steps together and Douglas was able to do it. And after that he did his practice alone in the pool first then he went to the various lakes and rivers to practice and then he became a perfect swimmer. After that the second question, the long answer question is describe the author's drowning experience. Now again his drowning experience when uh, he was waiting for the other children to come, he was alone at the pool and he was sitting there at the edge and he, he was scared of going into the water alone. So at that time a big boy of 18 years came. Out of fun he just picked him up and threw him into the deeper side of the pool and he started drowning. While he was drowning he had a plan, his mind was active. The plan was that as soon as he would touch the bottom, he would jump up like a cork, come to the surface swim to the edge of the pool but that did not work because in water he felt his legs had become very heavy and the water force of water was pulling him down his legs became paralyzed 9 feet seemed to be 90 feet he was he tried to scream the water entered his mouth and then he felt his lungs would burst his head was throbbing he had sheer stark terror and then he felt and he was trying to catch hold of some rope or a ladder or water wings but nothing only he clutched at the at water and now he felt that he was not able he would not be able to come up he was struggling he was beating with hands and legs but finally he became so tired and he gave up all struggle all effort stopped the moment he left struggle the moment he left struggling he felt as if he was relaxed, he was full of peace, no need to panic, no need to fear and he felt as if he was in space, he was floating in space, he felt drowsy, he felt sleepy and then he uh, lost his consciousness. The only thing that he remembers is some tender hands, some tender arms saved him. So this was his drowning experience.